on our very first bill, we're going to repeal 87,000 IRS agents. We can build an education system that has a parent's bill of rights. We should ensure women only compete in women's sports. Speaker wannabe Kevin McCarthy hit all the lowlights as he announced the GOP's legislative agenda just weeks before the midterm elections. The party's commitment to America plan ostensibly focuses on the economy, public safety, freedom, and government accountability. But it has few specifics and doesn't always match Republicans' actions, as President Biden pointed out. The MAGA Republicans didn't side with law enforcement. They sided with the insurrectionists. And they still do. Don't tell me you support law enforcement if you can't condemn what happened on January the 6th. Don't tell me that. Joining me now for an exclusive interview, Keisha Lance Bottoms, senior advisor to President Biden on public engagement. Uh, Ms. Bottoms, welcome to The Sunday Show. Thank you for having me. All right. So just your reaction, overall reaction to this so-called commitment to America that the Republicans are now running on. Well, it was very thin on details. And uh, as I was leaving this morning, my daughter, who's in sixth grade, asked me to help her with a school project. This reminded me of a school book report. There was no details, no mention of national abortion bans, no mention of free and, and fair elections, no mention of January 6th. And um, it is important that as we look at this MAGA Republican agenda, and those who seek to lead our country, like Kevin McCarthy, who will lead our country uh, if uh, Republicans take the House in November, it's important that we pay attention uh, to what they, uh, what the agenda will be. This MAGA Republican agenda is a very dangerous agenda, and what Kevin McCarthy has put forth is just more of the same of what we've seen from of these MAGA elected officials across the country. You know, it, it, it's striking that they put out a plan with no specifics, no details. Does that call into question their commitment to actually governing? Well, there are elections, Jonathan, as you know, and then you actually have to govern. And govern, governing requires a lot of thoughtful consideration as to what impacts people across America, not just people um, who support one party or the other, uh, but what affects people in their everyday lives. And if this is a plan that is a preview to what we should expect, should MAGA Republicans uh, control Congress in November, then I think that we should all be concerned. So um, the president's approval ratings are going up. The trend is trending up. Uh, the latest Emerson College poll puts the president's approval rating at 45. My paper today has the Washington Post has the president's approval rating at 40, which is you know, a consistent trend up from the 30s. That being said, and, you know, the wind's at, the wind's at y'all's back, backs right now. That being said, interest rates have been uh, jacked up by the feds for the third consecutive time. Gas prices, after going down for, I think, 99 days or so, are starting to tick back up. Um, stock market is down. My, my question is, despite the thinness of that commitment to America, how... How do Democrats, and the White House in particular, prove to the American people that Democrats are, are still the way to go in November and that they're the ones to trust when it comes to the economy and jobs and climate and gas prices and so on? Well, I think it will be important for people across the country to give consideration to what matters to them. If you care about climate change, if you care about the Affordable Care Act, if you care about women having the right to choose as to what happens to their bodies, if you care about doctors and nurses not being put in jail uh, for providing assistance to women who may be experiencing 
um, miscarriages, then I think that people have to give ample consideration um, as to who represents and, and, and who has put policy in place to support those values. And what I would say is uh, th this election is a very important election, not just for Democrats, but also for Republicans, also for independents, and anyone who cares about the United States of America. There is a MAGA Republican agenda that gives no consideration to the rule of law, that has no respect for a woman's right to choose, that wants to defund the FBI. There is a MAGA Republican agenda that thought that it was okay to attack our nation's capital on, on, on January 6th. I think people will think of all of these things um, when they go to the ballot box, no matter what their party affiliation, affiliation is, and, and I think that they will vote accordingly. You know, I've noticed, and I think a lot of people have noticed a certain phrase that you have been using since the very first answer, and that's MAGA Republicans or MAGA Republican agenda. It is a tough line uh, taking, being taken by the president and by you here right now against Republicans writ large. My question is, will the president and will folks in the administration in the between now and and the November 8th elections keep hammering away at that, at that phrase, at that imagery? Well, I think it will be important for all of us who care about the United States of America to call out what we see. And what we see, again, with this MAGA Republican agenda is an effort to disrupt our democracy. So whether it be through November and beyond November, I think it will always be important to call out any effort there is to destroy, essentially destroy the United States of America. President Biden has been very clear. He wants to work in a bipartisan effort. He has worked in a bipartisan effort. He's been able to get things done on behalf of our country. But when you have a MAGA Republican agenda that has no respect for the Constitution, that has no respect for free and fair elections, then it is important for all of us, not just the president, not just me, for all of us to call it out for what it is. It is a danger to our democracy. It is a danger to our way of life.